Hi, my October 12th birthday babies. Come on in, because this video is all about you. Today, from the Secret Language of Birthdays book, I'm going to be sharing with you the personality profile for people born on your birthday. And before we go any further, I want to give a special shout out to my nephew Armani. Armani, papi, mm, happy birthday. I love you so much. And now if you stick around till the end, you're going to get advice specifically from the book for people born on your birthday. So let's get into it. All right. And now I got the lights here because your girl is trying to read in the dark today. October 12th is the day of the grand gesture. October 12th people are dominant individuals who like to be the center of attention. Their people skills are highly developed and they mix well, well in a variety of settings, common or elite. Since those born on this day are proud of the quality of their work, they wish to be appreciated by the best minds around them, regardless of social station. The instincts of October 12th people for finance are excellent and an endearing quality is their tendency to share money with family and friends who encounter difficulty. Those born on this day hate meanness and pettiness, preferring to give of their time or financial resources in a direct manner, making a truly grand gesture which is somehow free of conde condescension. Thus, October 12th people make it easy for others to accept what they choose to give, although they themselves find it difficult to similar, similarly accept from others. Learning as early as possible in life to both give and take in an easy manner is important for them. Although those born on this day value tradition strongly, no one would call them conservative in thought, word, or deed. Extroverts, they are blessed with comic wit and have a flamboyant streak, which they do not hesitate to indulge. Mm-hmm, sounds right. This impulse can be expressed in many areas of their life, from sexual escapades to social nonconformity. For them, the world is a stage on which their own personal drama is to be enacted. They manage to do this, however, in a very natural fashion and rarely give the impression that they are creating shenanigans merely to attract attention. On the other hand, October 12th people must be aware of hubris, bringing about their own downfall through a disregard for the consequences of their action on the lives of others. Although in general they are knowledgeable in regard to the law and social traditions, they may like to believe that they can place themselves above the rules from time to time, particularly in their private lives. Those born on this day can truly be curious, be a curious admixture of giving and selfish qualities. Indeed, their tendency to advance or promote their own wants and needs can arouse resentment in their partners. In matters of love, they are a bit too dangerous. When things go wrong in their relationships, October 12th people demonstrate resilience and usually manage to escape lasting hurt, although the same may not necessarily be true for the other person involved. Because of their high degree of competence and social expertise, those born on this day can become a rock of strength for their colleagues, friends, and families. Yet discharging responsibilities while being mindful of and responsive to the deeper needs of others remains their greatest challenge. All right, I want to read that last part to you because there was a little extra advice there. It says, discharging responsibilities while being mindful of and responsive to the deeper needs of others remains their greatest challenge. So it talks a lot here about um, not being selfish, but it seems like you're already, you're kind of in, in the middle. You're not too much in either direction. I guess it's just reminding you to kind of stay in the middle and not tilt the scales in the selfish direction. Um, something else I wanted to mention, it didn't really come up here in this profile, but sometimes we get uh, a description for the different phases of life. We didn't get those here and that's okay. It doesn't, you know, if there was something here that you felt was kind of negative or dark, 
you have free will and you can change that we also go through different phases in life and you know for me personally the who i am today is not the same person i was 10 years ago or even 20 years ago um we all have negative traits uh the the question here is do you want to change and if you do then work towards changing them it doesn't matter what you know what the book says it doesn't matter what anybody else says you can you can change your own self through habits now let's get into a little advice remember to take the feelings of others into account be mindful of the needs of those close to you unconditional love is a worthy goal to to which to aspire absolutely mm, unconditional love <laughs> all right now if you're watching this on your actual birthday cheers to you happy birthday and if there was something that resonated with you I mean you don't have to overthink it if there's something that resonated with you especially if you want to change that in yourself go ahead and comment below I'm really curious to know how this is affecting the viewers. So thank you guys so much for watching and take care.